Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler, and this is episode 25 of my King Tiger and Berg Panzer diorama build. If you're watching this, then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment, and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. To begin with, let's put some more Zimmerit on from Attack Models. We're going to be doing the sides of the upper hull here. As an aside, this is episode 25, and for those interested, I have used up about 100 hours of building to make these episodes. There's about four hours of video per episode. So you can imagine how much work's gone into this. Anyway, with that bit of useless information, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. There we go, that's the piece cut out. Now, to get to the inner bits and get those out, we need to sand the reverse of the resin. This will release those inserts. But remember folks, when sanding resin, always wear a mask. There we go, that's the first bit done. Now to glue it to the plastic. So, here goes, wish me luck. Just so you know, I'm using Loctite's 60 second super glue. This gives me plenty of time to work with it. There you go, that's one side done, now for the other. And there we have both sides done. Now for some more work on the lower hull. There we go, there's that part all glued in. Now for a bit of deck laying. I'm doing the driver's instruments on the opposite side of the radio, so here goes.
There we go, four decals deckled. Now to glue the ammo pouches onto the holder that goes around the rim of the base of the turret. There we go, ammo pouches glued in place. We'll leave those to dry. While they're drying, let's crack on with cleaning out the holes of the mesh that go over the air intakes. It's just getting rid of all the primer. They're done, now a tad of super glue to keep the mesh held down. There we go, that's some mesh sorted. Now, to paint some ammo pouches. Khaki, as usual. Ooh, could you imagine the furore I'd cause if I painted them pink with purple spots? Hmm, ideas. And painted. We'll let those dry. Whilst they're drying, let's paint some of the viewports. I'm using clear green again from Tamiya, so let's crack on with that. Right, that's the clear green done on the viewports. Now, to finish off the machine gun, I'm going to be using Revels Black, thinned, and also Alclad's Dark Aluminium. I use a dark aluminium as when you weather it, it brings the colour down to very close to gun metal. So, here goes. There we go, machine gun done. We can let that dry over there. Now to attach the drivers and radio man's hatches, as well as doors onto the upper hull. There we have the front hatches fitted and the rear doors to the engine also. Now to move on to the turret.
That's the second thickening plate installed and clamped and put to side, leaving to dry. Now to move on to some snipping, sanding and gluing, let's start the gun basket. That's the base of the basket done. We'll let those parts dry and come back to this at the start of the next episode. So thank you very much for watching episode 25. If you want to see what happens in episode 26, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.